Let's watch this. I want. I kind of want to watch uh, this video. This is a channel where they basically talk about gaming news. That means processors, graphics cards, um, monitors, whatever. And in general about technology, so I'm very interested. It's 18 minutes, it's a bit long for me, but I will... Um, yeah. You, you can see how people always skip to the... Um, to the to the chapters of course everyone wants, wants to know about the extreme motherboard okay let, let, let's watch it welcome to the harvard news recap for the week this week was slammed with news because amd had its announcement let's see if i can handle 4k for computex 2022 including x570 we covered those but there's more detail now nvidia had sort of an announcement at the show uh and multiple case companies cooler companies everybody's been putting out product announcements this past week so we're going to be covering that in at least this news video but we might have to run two just because of the density of news so let's get started before that this video is brought to you by evga's x5 thank you i'm not interested in your sponsorship <laughs> well, first up this is super interesting so amd's x670 motherboards will have more or less two chipsets per board, or at least it'll have two packages of substrate and silicon to form a singular chipset known as X670. This will be all X670 and X670E motherboards, where X670E, as a reminder, if you missed our AMD news recap video, is basically a batch saying it's still the same chipset as X670. It's not technically a different piece of hardware. It just guarantees different PCIe lane assignments. Anyway, we have the AM5 news okay, coverage yeah. the b so this is basically the motherboard for the new uh ryzen 7000 series that will be coming this fall um and they are talking that uh the x670 which is a mod the, a high-end model of motherboard they will have just two chipsets i'm not sure what two chipsets means i'm not sure coverage and the Zen 4 CPU coverage in that other AMD news video. We'll link that in the description below. But for this one, it started with a new leak from serial leaker 9550Pro on Twitter, which suggested that the Asus Prime X670 so basically Wi-Fi two CPUs. might contain what looks like two chipsets. It almost resembled the older Northbridge-Southbridge approach. And MSI later revealed publicly, and we've also since confirmed with motherboard manufacturers officially, that X670 and X670E motherboards, all of them, will have this dual chipset look to the configuration. Now, to be clear, each piece of the chipsets shown in the original Asus leak and the MSI board shots later, that's all part of one X670 combined chipset, but splitting them into two pieces of silicon allows for more I.O., the theoretically shorter trace length between each one, depending on how they map the traces, and lower power density in a single spot to achieve the same I.O., with less of a thermal constraint. We've also confirmed that X670 boards will not so need wait. a chipset fan this time around, so that should make a lot of people very happy. Uh, does that mean that there will be two processors per motherboard or not? Yeah, the because fan ca can you case. put one processor in each or, or can you not? Just That's my question. So you now have 24 assignable PCIe lanes, and then there are four additional PCIe lanes that go to the chipset, uh, and these are not negotiable. This is also fairly standard. So Asus's board leak depicts one standard location chipset south of the RAM and then another part of the chipset just below the primary PEG slot. Board manufacturers also told us that B650, which is coming out after the X670 launch, will be more standard in that it'll just have one chipset cohesively in one spot on the motherboard. That is hmm. in line with controlling cost on the cheaper B-series motherboards and also that it won't need as much I.O. So we'd imagine that a lot of this is for improving the uh, amount of I.O. that's available while maintaining the thermal envelope so that you don't need a fan. And potentially, depending on how much this really matters at the end of the day, but potentially getting each piece of the chipset a little bit closer to the I.O. it's ultimately communicating with how much that matters. There's probably a little bit less than on the just expanding I.O. capability side of things. Okay. Next one, AMD corrected itself on the power capabilities and limitations of the AM5 socket. So AMD originally stated in its announcement that the socket would support up to 170 watt TDP CPUs. Yeah, okay. We noted in our coverage that this number is a little bit nebulous since AMD's TDP calculation is 
based on things like the thermal resistance of the heat sink you use and the temperature of uh, the T case and T ambient. And so all those numbers were screwy anyway, but 170 watt TDP was the number they gave us. This ended up getting corrected. AMD later said AMD would like to issue a correction to the socket power and TDP limits of the upcoming okay. AMD socket AM5. AMD socket AM5 supports up to a 170 watt TDP with a PPT limit up to 230 watts. TDP times 1.35 is the standard calculation for TDP versus PPT for AMD sockets in the Zen era, and the new 170 watt TDP group is no exception. AMD further said, quote, this new TDP group will enable considerably more compute yeah. performance for high core count CPUs. Okay, so basically they are, they are, um, loads, which will sit alongside the 60. They are uh, increasing the power that the new Ryzen's will take. I really want the Ryzen because it's uh, much more multitask capable processor like Intel's have less cores, less threads, and they're just, the single threads are much stronger. Uh, and that's good for gaming, but it's not good for streaming, for example. And I really want um, my setup to be oriented more for streaming instead of the gaming. Like, anything will run games. Like, I don't care about the highest graphics or high FPS. I play on 60 FPS because that's what I can stream at. And I don't care about more. <laughs> and I also don't have, like, 2K monitors and uh, 144 hertz monitors. I just have 1080p monitor with 60 FPS. And thus, I don't need very powerful hardware for gaming. I just need the powerful so uh, uh, hardware for streaming, which is what takes more of a load. Let's see the new motherboards. MSI Do they have two chipsets or only one? For AM5 that were just revealed in the last few days. So this is in line with the X670 announcements. All the board manufacturers have stuff to show this week. And uh, we'll, we'll get to emphasize a new popular style for Honor and not the video game. And the other <laughs> weird bullshit they're saying in a moment. There's, there's some new branding initiatives. But we're going to start with the products. The what? company showed off its okay. MSI MPG, <clears throat> which means MSI this... Performance Gaming. So it's MSI MSI PG. X670E Carbon Wi-Fi, which is a high-end board with two PCIe Gen 5 by 6 This has only one CPU, you can see it there. Gen 5 by 4 M.2 slots, and two PCIe Gen 5 by 4 non-M.2 slots. That is a lot of PCIe lanes getting split a lot of different ways, so the I.O. on AM5 is looking intense, at least for X670 plus the CPU. Uh, there's, there's a lot of hmm. capability here and expansibility with M.2 devices, GPUs, and capture cards, things like that. Anyway, MSI says that the Carbon will be an 18 plus 2 VRM design using 90 amp power stages. Not the craziest we've seen, but still on the very high end. And looking at the photo and the NVIDIA reveal MSI did, it looks like most A of lot the embellishments of, uh, for this one are focused on just there. the LED on the left Like side. lots of USB, USB-C. series of X670 P Wi-Fi boards, not X670E, has a better look, at least with the more functional large finned heat sink for the VRM on both flanks of the socket. This board is relatively bare overall in terms of over the top lighting and embellishments and uh, I like that. I don't like when it has an RGB troubleshooting type buttons, but it makes it one of the more generally function focused options for X670 thus far. Yeah, okay. MSI so so also that you would that button. you were able to see like wait, wait a second. Options for X So, here you can see the first chipset and here you can see the second chipset. What does that mean? In when he turns it over, like uh, from the other side, so it's this thing. Ah, okay, so the chipsets are the input-output. So this is a capture card, this is a capture card, this is a... Sorry, sorry, a graphics card. Like, these giant uh, lanes here are for uh, long things. Like, you, you put a... You, you strap a, a, lo a long graphics card here. Same with here, same with here. Uh, current graphics card don't really support SLI or uh, Crossfire, which means that you would be able to have like several capture cards in the same PC. Graphics card, not capture card. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, the uh, earlier there were like computers with uh, two Nvidia cards or with two Radeon cards, whatever. Right now, it's not really a thing anymore. Uh, most computers. Like a big majority of the computers right now only use 
one uh, graphics card. So you can put there more things like an audio uh, expansion card, a Ethernet expansion, sorry, uh, expansion card. Um, I don't know, a Wi-Fi expansion card. An uh, SSD you can connect here. There are some SSDs that go directly into the PCIe slot. So yeah, uh, it's a lot of them. So this, it has two chipsets. I thought the chipsets meant the thing for the CPU, but I guess I was wrong. Troubleshooting. Thus far, MSI also revealed its godlike motherboard, which is a larger board that it classifies as EATX, although I no like actual how, dimensions how were given. And it he's just it like hosts a 24 plus two stage VRM using 105 amp MOSFETs. This is clearly his face. You just cut off here. There's a lot of capability in that. It is geared towards Allen 2 liquid nitrogen overclocking, uh, and we wouldn't be shocked if it lands closer to $1,000 than $500. Uh, oh, wow, a bonus, that's a lot of money for a motherboard. Including that's clear. I will not be buying it. Cringeworthily named Expanders add-on card for extra PCIe slots. I refuse to say Expander Z. It's spelled Expanders, and that's what we're going to go with. And that hosts two Gen 5 by 4 M.2 slots. You socket that into a PCIe slot on the board. Finally, other than some middle options like the MSI Ace, MSI also showed off its new workstation WRX80 motherboard for threaded for 5000 Pro workstation CPUs. This is huge. Hmm. It's also an EATX classification on the large side of it. And that's got VRM situated on the left and the right of the socket. Rather this than the is the side. Threadripper processors, which are incredibly powerful. And it also has the memory flanking the socket vertically instead CPUs. of horizontally. All the power is positioned in the top right corner of the board. Two Ethernet a large chipset, ports, heatsink, and cooler attached a lot of USBs. to the heat sinks as well. For PCIe slots, the board has seven. And that sort of revives the glory days of the old EVJ dual socket board we have lying around here somewhere. So currently the trend for what we're seeing in the last week is a lot of IO on motherboards. NVIDIA demos a five. Okay, I don't care about monitors. As I said, I use only 60 Hertz monitors, PCKs, unique cases also. I don't care. MSI goes insane. What does this mean? While some companies announced boring physical objects that you can obtain for currency this week, like CPUs, motherboards, and video cards, oh, no. MSI decided to take a different approach and instead oh, no. announced updates to its branding for a marketing oh, no. cluster Please don't that sell it me created previously NFTs. and now needs to clean up. MSI definitely planned very well and uh, intentionally when it decided to start all of its initials for its motherboard families with M and end them all with G, leaving only the central P, E, or A to change. And as such, anyone who's confused by these just doesn't get it. But instead of fixing the problem, MSI decided to double down on the meaningless acronyms by adding word vomit subtitles and weird background text. For example, there's the MEG series, which MSI says is the flagship line and is subtitled The Revelation of Legend. Thanks, MSI. That really helps clarify what which one was it? MEG means. See? The description contains some nonsense about mysterious runes and ancient civilizations what? because nothing says high performance. Okay, computers. okay, let, 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 let's, let's back down a little bit. Like, if you are making a game or if you are kind of some fantasy, uh, your products are some, like, I don't know, fantasy stuff, sure. But if you're selling hardware, why are you coming up with some lore your hardware doesn't need lore that's weird anyways that will be it for um for a science video